Welcome back guys, Discount Tools here with my next iteration of my uh, series on mechanic tool sets. We have the Craftsman 216 piece mechanic tool set. You see it's item number CMMT99206. I believe they actually have this on clearance for $99, but I got this when they had a 10% off if you use a credit card, so it was $89. Full time. Lifetime warranty on the tools. We build pride. So, Craftsman is near and dear to my heart, like many people probably on YouTube right now. Um, if you grew up back in the 90s or 80s, uh, Craftsman was the place to be to a point. It's when it start. I heard it started to you know change a little bit, but whenever I had to get a tool or anything like that, uh, my parents or anything told me to go Craftsman. That was the best place to go for your tools because they were full lifetime warranty. You bro broke it, you got a new one. That was it. Simple and easy. Now that Stanley Black & Decker bought the brand from Sears, um, I'm kind of excited because for a while Sears tools were getting really expensive um, and I felt the quality wasn't there. Uh, and they would try to not give you that full, time, uh, full lifetime warranty when they when they warrantied your tool. So, I want to see how this new Craftsman set is. I mean, DeWalt, well, Stanley Black & Decker, well, are making these tools, and I feel like sometimes they're a little overpriced, and I feel like this is a reasonable price for $89 for a 216-piece uh, tool set. So, let's get her open. Slip right off. Oh, Zip ties all over the place. Don't you hate it? Find a little knife out here. Knock that out. On top here, you have a uh, storage room area. Um, and you can put your bit sets and stuff like that on top if you have the new Stanley, uh, DeWalt, or Craftsman bit sets. Check that out. Alright, so these are a little better made, uh, the old DeWalt, um, latches for the, uh, tough system. They're a little more, uh, they're a little more rigid, how about that? Um... Not too bad. I like them. Um, a little better than the newer DeWalt latches. Hopefully the Tough System 2.0 comes and will be set. But you can put some bolts and stuff up here. It's nice. You have a little work area just in case you want the uh, want that. And you can also put your uh, boxes, your T-stack boxes. You gotta remember this is for the T-stack. On top or on bottom, they'll latch in. Taking a look around, it says you can put storage on the side. We'll do a little review later on on that and see how it is. But let's break this open. All right, so there's two buttons on the side. Pull it out. 
Nice. I, I like that the drawers come out on this. You can kind of put this even if even if you don't. Uh, oh, what am I trying to say here? Uh, even if you don't want to keep it in in the uh, this whole thing here, you can take out what you need, and you have a drawer, and you can also put in your storage unit, uh, your metal storage unit. As you can see, this is the three eighths, which is, I really like that it's labeled, and um, you can know what is in each uh, each uh, drawer. You have your long three eighths, deep shallow, and your shallow bits. It's five sixteenths, and I want to see. So you get up to 5 sixteenths in the 3 eighths in the shallow and 21 millimeter in the shallow as well oops sorry and let's just look at that nice engraving it's like stamping it has some knurling on the side too and I like how it's set up you have your uh, socket adapters for your uh, spark plugs which is really nice and has some knurling on the side and if you can't see there's some rubber in the middle I don't know if there's magnetic or not and you get one uh, joint uh, extension you also get extension oh you actually get two extensions oh, you just tilt that over it's underneath a little sneaky there craftsman and you have your 3 8 uh, ratchet which I think that's a really um, good size actually it's a decent size you know um, for a three eighths. And let's just put one on. I want to see if. All right, so you can push the button, and then it's quick release. Very nice. Um, so you go up to the five sixteenths on the shallows, and you go up to three sixteenths in your sure uh, in your uh, deep well. And the nice thing about this set is it's all six point, which is really nice. And I think that's where it sets ap itself apart because a lot of sets will go to uh, 12 point and six point. So let's see, well, for the three eighths, let's see if uh, how the rest of it goes. So as you can see, actually, you do have some, for me just rambling around, uh, you do have some. Uh, some uh, movement down here, as you can see. So, you do have to be careful there. Let me get this out. But you do get two two extensions, and they go in like that. And you do get two more extensions, actually, small one and this guy. I don't know if this is doesn't tell you if it's a three eighths to whatnot. Oh, and you do have some movement here. Uh, I lost the four, so it goes down there. So let's put these in here. All right, so you get a 14 in the shallow for the one, uh, for the quarter inch, and nine sixteenths in SAE for the shallow. Deep well, you get nine sixteenths, and probably about your fourteenth. So, yep, you get a complete. And let me just see. Actually, I didn't check that on the other one. Eleven. You know, you basically get a complete set. It looks like four, five, uh, up here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven, twelve, yeah, fourteen. You also get a screwdriver, and this is a cool because you can use the bits in here that are provided and you can also use the nut drivers as you can see up here nicely organized oh and you get your allen keys which is both sh long and short metric is red and sae is black everybody does it differently so it's good to let you know oh you also get a uh, one a uh, bit that is security, just in case you need to know that. And it looks also you get some Allen bits. So. 
slides really nice in. Let's try the half inch. Half inch is a little heavy. All right, so the only thing you have to put together is the wrenches. Um, you have some wrenches here. They kind of just lay down in the bin down here, which is, I'm just going to keep them like that. Let's hear the ratchet on the half inch. We'll go back to the quarter inch. I forgot about that. I'm a little excited about this. I really like that. These are 72 tooth ratchets. Really nice. And back and forth. Very nice and smooth. Again, you're going to lose some bits on here. Um, they're just more like socket holders. So you get a one inch bit, shallow bit, and you get a 24 inch shallow bit. So you don't get any deep well half inch sockets, which um, in this uh, in this set, and surprise, surprise, um, I lied. Uh, you do, there are 12 points in the half inch. So, um, and you only get one extension. Yeah, or well, the other ones you have two. Wrenches, very nice. Um, um, let me undo this right here. As you can see, very nice. Some knurling as well. Really like this set. Um, I like it because you, even if you, even if you want to start this out as a starter kit, you still have the the drawer system. I wish craftsman if so the bottom is a little hard to get in and out but at least if you start with this kit you always have the um the system here let me just check up here uh so the only only one i see that you it skips is number 20 um in metric let me just see up here. I really like the layout of this too. Because underneath, like, let me just take these two. Underneath, even the deep well, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it is. They're all numbered, so you can even if you mess it up. I just, I just really like it. Let me just take out the quarter inch ratchet. Again, small. Um, very nice polish though on all three ratchets. And you can hear very nice tooth action. And I like the selector. Not as good as the um, Husky, but uh, really nice. So definitely an improvement over the uh, Cobalt draws. Um, and it is a system. Um, I, I gotta see, it says you can put the, on either side, I'm guessing you can lock in uh, bit sets so if you want additional bit sets or anything like that, you can put it in. Um, or if you have the sets, uh, like a tw uh, since you only have actually a 12 point set for the half inch, you can put your six points on the side. Um, what can I say? I, I actually recommend this um, for, I, w I, I would say, I'm gonna leave the whole thing to the end, but for now, as of this video, I would put this number two. The Cobalt's more for a beginner set, like maybe just once around the house. This is more of a DIY set, I would say. And this is this is here why. Um, you feel I feel like you get more wrenches. Let me just see how many wrenches you get. You got two, three, one, two, three, four. You get seven. Well, all right. Not on that, but you get a more, com I feel like you get a more complete set, if that makes any sense. Um, there's very minimal skipping on the, on the, on the, uh, socket sizes. You have what you need, and even if you have to go back out and get a size 20 socket, it's not going to break you, whereas I feel the like Cobalt skipped a lot. Husky did, but you got a lot of useful tools that I've used. Um, lately, and I really like that set too. And I might just exchange some of the, the uh, six-point sockets in that set for this one. And that's where I find the value in this. It's very well organized, whereas the uh, the Cobalt wasn't really organized. And Husky definitely wasn't organized. It was just you know thrown into a box. But 
I really like this set. I mean, I I don't think I know like I know I have a lot of people want Craftsman to come back, and I think this is a good starter way of Craftsman to come back. Um, but I'll have some video. We'll do some uh, tests against all three ratchets, unless I can get one more. But actually, I think I have one more. But we might just do that later. Do a keep them out or not? But so far, I would actually recommend this. If this has, if they have the even at ninety nine dollars, you know, if you're looking to get a better set of sockets or you're you're just starting out and you want but you want a little more premium i would go with this because even though this is 72 tooth versus the cobalt which is 90 tooth you can always get the sockets those those <laughs> i've gotten so many of those wrench uh socket wrenches that during like really cheap like clearance events and stuff that you can just change whatever you want out and probably in this set and you're good and i like that the three eighths is on top um Heavies is on the bottom, and your one fourth you don't really use that much. I mean, let's face it, it's it's nice, but I wish that someone. What I really wish someone would do is come out with a three eight set and a half inch set, and just skip the quarter inch maybe, or just provide the sockets and then just have a socket adapter for the quarter inch, and then put six points in here. So that's my thoughts. I highly recommend this. I really like it. Um, Leave a comment down below if you have this set or have the wrenches or socket wrenches and what you what do you feel uh, your thoughts are on. I'd like to hear that. Um, do you like it? Not like it? Do you think the new Craftsman sucks? You want to want to go back to the old Craftsman, or do you just think that you know it's time to move on? So let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button. Helps out the channel immensely. Hit uh hit that subscribe button if you haven't tr uh, subscribed yet. We're always growing here. Always having little uh, face-offs too, as we're having right now. Uh, hopefully we'll have more in the future. Uh, I got some a lot of work to do coming up, so these bad boys are going to work as long as the along with the huskies and everything else. But until then, guys, just keep on trucking. I'll see you in the next one.